In this video, we'll study conditional probabilities using an example. We'll consider the example of coin toss. So now let us consider an experiment of tossing a fair coin three times. Now we are interested in the probability of getting alternating heads and tails conditioned on the event that the first toss gives us a head. So what is this event A? The event A is tosses yielding alternating tails and heads. And the event B on which we will condition upon is that the first toss is a head. Now what we want to find out is probability of A given B. And we will follow the formula of conditional probability that we discussed in the previous lecture. So let's try and solve this problem using the formula. Now, what is our entire sample space when we toss three coins? The sample space is has eight elements, which is starting from HHH all the way to TTT. That is, we get three heads or three tails. Now, what is the sample space of A? The sample space of A is HTH or THT. That is, there's a head, then there's a tail, then there's another head, or there's a tail, a head, and another tail. This is alternating between tails and heads. Now, probability of A intersection B. That is going to be HTH. This is because B is the event that the first toss is a head. And among the two elements that are there in the set A, only HTH satisfies this condition. So probability of or A intersection B is just HTH. Okay, so now let's try to find out the probability of B. Now the probability of B is 4 out of 8. Now what is B? Recall that B is that the first toss is a head. Now the entire sample space has eight elements and the four of these have heads as the first coin toss, which is HHH, HHT, HTH, and HTT. So the probability of B is four divided by eight. That is going to come out to be half. Now what is probability of A intersection B? Now probability of A intersection B is 1 over 8 because A intersection B is just H, T, H. There's only one element in that and the entire sample space has 8 elements. So 1 over 8. Now, what is the probability of A given B? Now, using the formula, which is probability of A given B equals probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B, what we have is 1 over 8 divided by 4 over 8, which will give us 1 over 4. So let's try to understand this using a slightly different approach, which is basically what we are trying to do here is your new world divided by the sample space when your condition is B, which is basically there are four elements, HHT, HTH, and HTT, and HHH, because those are the only four elements which have heads as the uh, in the first toss. Now each of these events are equally likely. There is no reason to believe otherwise. Now only one out of these four events satisfies the alternating heads and tails that we are looking for, which is HTH. So the probability of A given B is therefore going to come out to be 1 over 4 because there are four elements in B and only one of them is satisfied by A. With this, I'll conclude this example. Hope this gives you a better idea of how to solve conditional probability. And if you like this video, do watch my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.